What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. So guys today we are taking a look at the Savage. This helicopter was first released with the Heist DLC so that's already a couple of years ago. But this week there is a discount on it so the perfect time for a review. You can get it on Warstock. The normal price is almost 2.6 million. The trade price is 1.95 million and this week with the discount 1.1. If you want to get the trade price by the way you have to do a setup. For the Pacific Standard Heist, it's the convoy setup. After you do that, you unlock the trade price. So the Savage, first of all, a Pegasus vehicle. It's a military helicopter. It has a top speed of 145 miles per hour. Just to give you guys a ID, the Sparrow has a top speed of 170 miles per hour almost. So that's actually a big difference. Also keep in mind, of course, the Savage is a pretty big helicopter. The weapons on the Savage, first of all, you have the cannon. By the way, if you buy it, you already have the weapon, so you don't have to get it separately. So the cannon, the explosive rounds, it's on the front. It's basically in the middle, so that's very good for the aim. Very fast fire rate and also pretty good damage that it does. Then you also have the missiles. In total, four missile launchers. Pretty good fire rate. You don't have to wait for it to reload, so you can just keep on spamming. And also, if you have a co-pilot, the co-pilot will also have one missile launcher. And that missile launcher, it actually does more damage than the normal missiles that the pilot has. Now, one thing that was pretty great about the Savage in the past was that the lock-on box, it was under the helicopter. So this way, when someone fired a missile at you, it would go under the helicopter and it was very easy to dodge. Now, they removed it right now. It's just in the middle of the helicopter. So right now, when you get missiles at you... It's not so easy to dodge in my opinion. The Savage can take two missiles normally. Over here it was three missiles from a Oppressor Mark II but normally after the second one it's done. With explosive rounds it can take three explosive rounds on the ground. But when you're flying after the third one you can still keep on flying. After the fourth one you will just explode. With the missiles by the way sometimes even after one missile you will start to smoke and then after a while it just breaks down. Now, like I said in the beginning, the Savage is a Great. Pegasus vehicle, so if you want to request it the first time, you have to call Pegasus, then it will spawn on one of their locations. Now, if you want to request it easier, just take it to your hangar. If you take it to your hangar, then it will become a personal vehicle, and then after that, you can just request it from the interaction menu. When you put it in the hangar, you can also respray it. This is, by the way, the only thing that you can modify. This is the case for all the aircrafts that were released before the hangar DLC. So you have the primary color and then also the secondary color. If the Savage, by the way, isn't in your hangar, when you put it there first, make sure to check the storage. If your hangar is full, it goes to the storage and then you can just switch it with another aircraft and then it will be on the main floor. After you put it in the hangar, you can go to the interaction menu, go to vehicles, request personal aircraft, select the Savage. And this way you have a lot more spawn locations than with Pegasus. Also keep in mind though, if it's a personal vehicle, if it gets destroyed, you will have to call Morse Mutual and then you have to pay 1k. Now someone told me yesterday in stream that right now there is a thing that you can do where you just request the Savage through the interaction menu and then right after that you request the Sparrow. If you do it like this, then the Savage basically spawns right next to you anywhere on the map just like the Sparrow does. But obviously this is just a bug in the game so I don't know how long it will actually stay. But you can always try it because obviously it's a lot easier. Now when it comes to using the Savage in combat I can give you guys some basic tips. I'm not an expert in PvP or something like that. But just some basic tips that you guys can maybe use. First of all when you're fighting close range especially if it's against someone on the ground. I think that the cannons are definitely the much better option. The cannons have a much higher fire rate, also the tracking of the missiles is horrible when it's close range. So definitely try to use the cannons as much as possible if it's someone close to you. Also for example in first person I think that the aim is a lot easier. If you're not used to first person I would say give it a try, you will notice that you can hit a lot more. Now when it's long range you have the issue with the cannons that they just don't go that far. So then the option is obviously the missiles. When it's a vehicle, you have the lock-on, so that makes it a lot easier. For example, over here against a tank, normally it would be better to use the cannons, but I knew a tank could take like six missiles, it was a Kanjali. So then you can just spam the missiles and then you can also destroy it pretty fast. Now when you have a vehicle like the Insurgent Pickup or for example the Night Shark, which are much better when it comes to armor, they can take like 27 missiles, I think. Then the better option will be the cannons, they have a much higher fire rate. They also have very good damage, so if you can just hit it for like a couple seconds, then it will already explode. 
Now one more tip that I can give you guys is when you are using the cannons, try to always be above your target. So this way you can kind of slow down above them. So press L2, you can move the nose of the helicopter downwards and then you can just spray on them with the explosive rounds. I hope you guys understand a bit what I'm saying. Now against an oppressor mark 2 and also maybe jets, Personally, I find it a little difficult lately, especially since they changed the lock-on box because now if they fire a couple missiles at you, it's really hard to dodge them. So against the Presser Mark IIs, um, to be honest, I'm not that good. Maybe you guys have like a method to um, basically kill them and then you can share it in the comments. So guys, that was it. Definitely a cool helicopter. Definitely still worth it, especially with the discount. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to like, subscribe. Check out my Discord in the description and peace out, you guys.